still my best favorite shingle of all time. Ico shingle, so impressive technology. For me, one of the big driving factors was the hail rating and the fact that it's still an asphalt shingle. Atlas has multiple, multiple pieces of technology in their shingles. So it was easy, I switched to Atlas. If I had to pick a shingle, it would be malarkey. This sure nail strip is difficult to cut in cooler weather. We have to make sure we have really sharp knives. This is garbage. We're gonna remove it because we don't recommend garbage. This is 2023 Roofing Insights Shingle Guide. We have been doing this guide for the past eight years. This year, we changed all the rules and all our ratings. It's gonna be a completely different concept. Welcome to the show. In this video, I'm gonna give you eight products from asphalt shingle category that I personally recommend. This is what I would install on my house if I would have to replace the roof today. I also gonna share testimonials and feedback from roofers from our community, why they install these brands as well and what they like about them from product perspective. This year, only four brands made it to my recommendation list, but it's gonna be eight products because each brand carried two products to the list. But in the beginning, I wanted to start with a disclaimer. Do we get paid by manufacturers to do our product reviews and shingle comparison. And here's the truth, whether you like it or not, we do get paid by brands. Roofing Insights over the years have about 16, 17 sponsors. With that being said, we have never ever have any contract with any manufacturers as far as promoting them, as far as giving them any promise. We've never been hired by them to do videos. And for those manufacturers who even work with us, I am still a wild card. They never know what to expect from me. I'm just gonna promote and recommend brands that I think are noble, doing the right thing for the industry, listen and open-minded to criticism from roofers and not trying to shush them when they talk about uh, products failures. This is what this product right here represents, Tamco Titan. When we attended Roofing Expo this year, they actually did not let us film their own test in their own booth. So as a result, we just decided that Temco gonna represent all brands that we don't recommend. Because if we see that brands are hostile to roofers and don't want roofers feedback and only want praises about their product and not ready to have conversation about their quality, we're just not gonna include them at all. So Temka, you're on your own. This is garbage. We're gonna remove it because we don't recommend garbage. Here you go, brother. Throw it in the garbage. I've been working on this video for about three months and I came up with my own rating system. Think about more like a wine test testing. So wine rates anywhere from 50 to 100. All the shingles here, their top finalist on my rating system, it will go from 94 to 97 points. So they're all top of the line. And with that being said, here's my 2023 shingle guide, my recommendations eight products that I recommend. So this one is Atlas Pinnacle, 94 points in Dimitri's rating. I have so many installers all over the country who loves this product, installs it every single day. I absolutely love the package. I always pay attention to the packaging. Actually, one of the best packaging in the business. You see not only very clear installation instructions on both Spanish and English, you also see requirements for ventilation, I absolutely love what Atlas does. They educate their installers, they're very transparent about what expected from the installers. What I absolutely love about it as well, and you just saw it uh, before we threw Titan from the studio, that this shingle, this bundle is a little bit wider. We talked to contractors today who said that was one of the main reasons why they switched to Atlas Pinnacle. Take a listen. My name is Tony Shrove. Uh, I am a part owner in Talk about the shingles um, that you install. Uh, you install Atlas Pinnacle? What I like about Atlas is there's just no waste there. It, it, is, it is phenomenal the difference it makes. But even on a 412 with just a single gable roof, I'm going to add 10%. You know, I may pick up six or eight bundles of shingles, but on a 35 square roof, if you add three and a half squares, you're still going to use at least 5%. 
This slight change, slightly wider shingle will save your roofer a couple bundles on every single job. So nice package, nice shingle and the best for waste saving. Next on my list is Ico Dynasty, 94 points and my new a rating system for this year. Iga Dynasty has probably received more compliments than any other product I've seen in the past two, three years. Ico shingles. So uh, again, impressive technology. You know, the, um, the armor zone is, is really cool. Um, but for me, one of the big driving factors was the hail rating and the fact that it's still an asphalt shingle. Great shingle, very consistent, very wide. One thing that I don't like, and I shared it last year, Last time I did shingle guide is they have open bundles. Still don't know why they do it. I've asked so many manufacturers. I want to say that two out of eight keep the bundles open like this, which is a problem. If you store it outside, the rain will get in with the wind and their logic is the water will drain out because it's open. My logic is if it's open, the water would get in. If you would close it, it would not get in in the first place. So out of all the bundles here, this is the only one uh, with an open ended. But besides that, very good package, clear instructions at the front. Of course, it's class three shingle, which is very big deal. If you're the homeowner, you will get discount from your insurance company. Everything we like about the shingle, very consistent nailing zone. You can clearly see where to nail it. Two lines and of course the technology with the strip on the back i mean we've all have seen the test it just does work true square big shingles uh, another thing i always like you get exactly the same amount in every bundle very consistent high quality good product 94 points for me next one is a classic own scoring duration 93 points this year for me very consistent package not much changed i mean they've been doing the same thing for decades and if it's not broken don't fix it what i don't like is inconsistency but sure nail technology kind of takes it away and again installers love it i feel like this is a great shingle i installed this on my personal house a year later we had an f1 tornado after inspecting the roof i found no damage to my roof all the shingles were perfectly sealed down so highly recommended one of the reasons we use oc is because of its reputation they have a great reputation in the building industry and they have great products from insulation to of course uh, shingles roofing shingles if i would compare it to trucks it would be a toyota tacoma you just cannot kill the brand cannot kill the product is it perfect no it's not perfect they do have issues i would like to have true square for example but they've been around forever roofers like it i still recommend it um, as a matter of fact i have it on my house and my roof is a little bit over 20 years now i do need to replace hip and reach shingles and do a few repairs here and there but overall pretty solid product to this day it's definitely one of the products I would recommend and would have on my house again if I would replace the roof today. Next one is one of the highest rated uh, shingles today, 96 points, Malarkey Vista. I absolutely love this product. I remember first time we traveled to the company in Texas was two, two and a half years ago and was very impressed. We were start receiving first reports on performance of the product after the hail. So Vista claimed class three. I think they're switching to class four now, but I remember seeing the roofs after a major hail and seeing the houses that have been getting new roofs replaced and Vista are not being replaced because they sustain the hail much, much better. Also like the sustainability uh, recycle factor here, Malarkey for years been one of the best products in uh, all our comparisons, all our tests. Well-deserved 96 points, very consistent product, not very expensive, very popular in Texas market. If I had to pick a shingle, it would be Malarkey. They do have a decent nailing zone and the product seems to be really consistent. Everything that we uh, have got so far, we haven't had any warranty problems. It's also really tight, uh, the granules. Uh, the guys talk about that a lot, that um, some of the brands have, you know, really loose granules. I haven't heard them say anything in particular that didn't like installing it because it scarred more. It seems to be just as tough, if not tougher, than, than the certain TV. Of course you have 3M technology, but class three, it's a big game changer for the price. I think it's the most affordable 
class three or class four these days. Of course, as any Malarkey product is very flexible. Installers fell in love on it and it, it makes good business financial sense to switch to for many, many roofers. So definitely recommend, definitely on top of my list, 96 points. If you like our shingle guides and you wait for them and they brought any value to you in the past or this video is gonna bring you any value, it's free. Just give it a like, subscribe, comment. It truly helps. Next four products are gonna be all class four products, pretty much from the same brands. Now we have own scoring duration flex. We install quite a few jobs. Class four makes sense in a lot of markets. If you live in Colorado, Texas, Minneapolis, where it hails a lot, even if it's a small hail, consider class three or class four shingles. It hails these days even in Atlanta and Orlando, Florida. It hails everywhere. You don't know where next hail is gonna take place. And if you have something like this, your chance of replacing a roof will go down, but you also will get insurance discount. Will probably justify the price of extra to install class four in itself. My name is Jorge Bogran, and I'm the co-owner of Roof Squad. Roof Squad operates in Louisiana, Texas, and Colorado. My favorite shingle in the industry is the Owens Corning Duration Shingle, because I believe you really get the best value for your dollar. Um, it has a sure nail strip embedded in it and, and it gives you the best win rating in the market. Not every roofer likes Class 4. It's definitely an upsell. If you're in Atlanta, Alabama, Nashville, maybe it doesn't make a lot of sense, but you can ask your roofer to do it. It might be special order if suppliers, local suppliers don't carry it. Own scorning flex versus own scorning uh, duration regular does differ a lot. You can see how flexible it is. I remember when I first time in a review this product, I was impressed, but it was not as impressive as they try to portray it in their commercial. Still, great product, solid 94 points, highly recommend. Next class four shingle that made it to the list is Icon Nordic. Absolutely amazing product. Again, not many roofers install or recommend it because class four do cost more money than class three or regular shingles. But I wanna talk quickly about the price. I asked my community to send me pricing, how much they pay for different uh, products today. It looks like in Atlanta market, this is just Atlantic pricing by one local contractor. He said that he's getting Icon Nordic at 41.66 a bundle and he's getting Dynasty at 35.55. So we're talking about 500 bucks, 1000 bucks. It's probably 10, 20% price difference for product alone. Not very big, but you can get it back from your insurance company if you consider savings over the years on your insurance premiums. It could be 15 to 20% per year uh, on your home insurance premiums. So nice update. Now I did get a few other prices that were almost double for some other class four. So it really depends on different products, different brands and different markets. For example, if you don't live in a hail market, you're probably not gonna have a lot of class fours. It's probably gonna be a uh, special order, special delivery. You definitely will pay more than 10 or 20%. And I've seen roofers literally charge double for class four. I cannot justified because if you think about the price of the job, your removal, your dumpster, your installation, your labor, your accessories, all gonna be the same. The only difference is the shingle itself. And class four does not cost double the price. It costs a little bit more. I just gave you the prices of uh, Ica Nordic versus Ica Dynasty in Atlanta market. If I would live in Atlanta and I would be replacing my roof, I would pick Nordic over Dynasty. But again, both are great products. This is 94 versus Dynasty, 93 points in my system. Next one on my list is Atlas Stormaster. My personal best shingle in 2015, I installed more St Stormaster than any other shingle. I absolutely loved it. Not many people know that Storm of Roofing used to install Atlas, then we switched to own scoring a couple of years later. But Atlas Stormaster, amazing product. It was actually the cheapest class four shingle and it was very close to regular shingles back in the day. The upgrade was like maybe 10%. I was buying them at Menards and at Beacon and ABC. Stormaster was very cool product to install. Class Force was kind of a new thing on the market. Some roofers were very skeptical. They were not buying in and they have this mentality. Why install class four? Because 
The more class four we install, the less roofs we'll have to replace later. Comment below what you think about that argument because I never ever understood it. I think as a roofer, it's your job to install the best possible roof you can at the moment. And if you can upgrade it to class four, you should do so. Brent Simmons here with Restoration Roofing out of Memphis, Tennessee. So for the last five years, I've been pretty much exclusively an Atlas contractor. Before Atlas, I installed a lot of other shingle manufacturers, but what drove me to switch to Atlas was pretty simple. All the different features of the shingles. Every other shingle manufacturer has one or two, you know, really cool things about the shingles, you know, some neat technology they have, but Atlas has multiple, multiple pieces of technology in their shingles. The Scotchguard, HP42 technology, the larger exposure, the inch and a half nail zone, the double sealant strip. Now they have core four technology. They have an Atlas impact. They have cool roof technology. It's just a whole list of features. And for me, I wanted to be able to offer that to my customers. So it was easy. I switched to Atlas. And the last one on the list today, 97 points for Malarkey Legacy. Still my best favorite shingle of all time does not take away from previous products. I still install any one of them on my roof, but Malarkey as a company is a little bit different. They do stand out and I wanna keep shouting out to them. I've personally visited their plant, love the plant, love the people, love the process. They recently have been sold to another company, so we're gonna be watching them, what's gonna happen to the brand, how it's gonna change, but so far, so good. I've talked to quite a few installers, they all swear by the brand. We primarily install Malarkey Shingles. We just see them as the best product on the market. Love that massive nailing zone. That's what got us in the door. Uh, but then the nice things in tandem with that would be the SPS material, right? You can almost roll that shingle into a newspaper and it won't crack. I'm very impressed to this day with Malarkey Legacies Class 4. This is all for my recommendation. If you're the homeowner, and you are looking for a roofer to do your roof. Maybe you receive a couple estimates. Maybe you don't know who to pick or how to read the estimate. I have a free service to you. You can download it in the app store. It's called directory.com. It's free. You download the app. You can then send us estimates that you're receiving. We will review it. Me or someone on my team will give you a recommendation based on the options that you have in front of you. I understand that some of the products we'll talk today might not be available in your market. Maybe you don't know who to trust. Maybe you like the product, but you have questions about estimate or roofer you pick. I give you $20,000 guarantee on my recommendations. If you pick a roofer that I recommend and he messes up, takes your money, runs away, commits any kind of financial fraud, or does not finish the job, I promise you, I will come and fix your job because I don't give better recommendations when I do. I make up for it. Download directory.com and let me help you. So those are my recommendations. Please comment below. What do you guys think? I read all my comments and video like this is very important to me. If you want to support this channel, it doesn't cost you anything. Just give it a like, comment, engage, share. You can use it for your marketing purposes. If you're a roofer, you're welcome to take this video, show it to your homeowner. Maybe you disagree with my methods. I mean, I say it how it is. I've been in the industry for a very long time now. To me, you know, 10 years is a long time. I've seen it all. We're Roofing Insights. We're the voice of roofing communities. We value feedback. Comment away, and I'll see you guys in the next video.